it's I think it's pretty handy. Here we go. Trevor said, how would you approach scaling in playing this way? Scaling in playing this way. So scaling in, getting size, we, we talk a lot about that in our other strategies. Um, on this particular strategy, there's really no specific type of scaling. What size contract account size would, well, let me ask you this, how many contracts would you envision? And I'll tell you how you would play to that many contracts. Scaling in general, look, a lot of people have a lot of different terms for what scaling me or a lot of different definitions of what the term scaling means. Most of the time people say scaling in, that means that as a trade is going against them, they add to position. So if you wanted to use that definition of it, then on your first entry here, you would enter immediately as the signal shows up. As it comes in against you, you can add all the way through the entire zone as long as it does not break the Enigma. Does that make sense? Now, as the trade is going your direction, what we like to do is we like to add on crosses. Okay, now I don't have the cross system turned on here, but let's watch this one for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and add the crosses and see if we have any area where we can add to position. I am a scale in, but not as it's coming against. So we like to add on crosses, we add on dots. That's the other thing. So if I added the dots, added crosses, if there were opportunities in here where the dots show up or a cross shows up, I can add to my position. I start with, depending on where I'm at in my count on five trades, uh, we do five trades or five or six trades per session. And a session is defined as 60 to 90 minutes or five or six trades, whichever comes first. And then if you want to have a secondary session in the day, you don't do them back to back. You should take two and a half hours between a secondary session. Let the mind reset, go somewhere else, go do something, go work out, go do hang out with your family, do other things, come back to your uh, computer and then reset yourself mentally and then apply another 60 to 90 minutes. That's the way that we approach the markets. Just go in full clip. So you should never go in full clip if you are trading in a live market when you are, and by live, I am specifically saying non-trader funding because trader fundings are not live. Trader fundings, dude, you could do that all day because they also, they're not trading live and you're not gonna be stop hunted on a virtual account, which is what trader funding programs are. Trader funding programs, while well, you know, it's like, oh, it's live because you get paid. Well, I mean, kind of, but not really. You're playing a video game and they're paying you to play if you win. Okay, that's the way that you should look at a trader funding program. You can go all in if you're on a trader funding program. Should you do that in a live market? No, you're going to show up as a block order and then they're going to hunt you. So that answer that I actually go into detail in that in our video trainings as well. Why I tell you to enter in like a machine gun, but more of a semi auto machine gun. You're ta -ta 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 you need to press the mouse button. I teach you that gamer strategy, like using the using your mouse to your advantage. Going ta -ta 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 -ta. Don't go. Oh, I'm going to go 20 contracts, 20 enter. Don't do that. I'd rather you click 10 times. 10 times. Make sense? You'll learn that in our strategies when we're talking about that. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learn.